And our temperatures will be staying above normal as we're heading into the overnight. I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn, the UF Weather Center. We'll still be close to 60 degrees at midnight, then dropping down to a morning low of 54. But dense fog is expected to develop late. You'll see how our winds are pretty much nearly calm. Then they'll start picking back up as the fog begins to mix out about 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. But it will have some limited areas of visibility before then. Three big things we're talking about our forecast is that warm pattern with above normal temperatures carrying through this upcoming weekend. But the cold front is going to be pushing our way towards Christmas, and that brings us a brief taste of some cooler temperatures. And if you're traveling, we do have your forecast coming up for this weekend. We did have that weak cold front boundary come through early on Thursday morning, but it continues to drop southward through the state. And the only thing we really saw with this one is just a couple of spotty showers, and then temperatures for Friday just a little bit cooler. But notice all the rain, so you have travel plans heading into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. It's going to be wet, and then with a the chance of some snow and ice as that system all continues to push eastward. But notice, as we get into Saturday night, it's still back to the west of us. And then as we approach into Sunday, we'll start to see that front by Christmas Eve moving into our area, and that'll bring a chance of a couple of spotty showers. Now, as we're looking at our temperatures for Friday afternoon, mid-70s will be the high. Looking at that sunshine coming out at that early morning fog, and then checking into Saturday, still pretty nice. Upper 70s, our normal high this time of year. It runs into the mid to upper 60s, so well above normal as those temperatures then carry us through the weekend. And here's the reason why with the area of high pressure across the Atlantic, those winds coming up out of the south around it keeps us on the warm side with that jet well to the north. But that jet will be taking a plunge south as we're getting into the Arctic air mass. So if you have travel plans on Saturday, Heading you out to the Plain States and to the upper Midwest, it is going to be very cold. Snow across the Great Lakes and then pushing through the Ohio Valley, but it's going to be very wet with rain and wind. So if you're driving up into the Tennessee or Ohio Valleys, our tours New Orleans, be prepared for a slowdown with some of that wet weather. The state of Florida, though, looks dry on Saturday and temperatures remain above normal. So what are your Christmas morning temperatures? Well, the coldest spot in the country will be International Falls at minus 21 on Christmas morning. But we're talking about upper 40s down here across north central Florida and Caribou, Maine, looking at 4 degrees. While out west, if you're headed to Los Angeles, they'll start off Christmas morning at 56. Here it is, your extended forecast, and we've got our temperatures staying into the mid to upper 70s the next few days with dense fog on Friday and Saturday. We'll see rain then by Christmas Eve and then a drier day on Christmas but a little cooler at 65.